This robot can walk straight off a 3D printer without any electronics. Meet the latest innovation from researchers at the University of California, San Diego. This six-legged, fully 3D printed robot moves using only air pressure, powered by a simple cartridge of compressed gas. So how does it work? Well, instead of motors, batteries, or circuit boards, this robot relies on soft actuators, essentially air-powered artificial muscles. By precisely controlling the air pressure, researchers created a system that makes the legs move in sync, much like how steam engines powered locomotives back in the day. It's an incredibly simple but effective approach to motion. One of the biggest advantages of this design is that it can operate in environments where traditional electronics might fail. Think extreme radiation zones, underwater exploration, or maybe even outer space. Unlike robots that rely on delicate sensors and complex wiring, this one is built from flexible materials that make it both durable and adaptable. Another notable aspect of its design is that the entire robot is printed in a single piece, eliminating the need for assembly. Once connected to an air source, it starts walking. That means lower manufacturing costs, just around $20 per unit, and the potential to rapidly produce robots for various tasks, from disaster response to planetary exploration. Now, let's talk movement. The robot's six legs operate in two alternating groups coordinated by an internal air-powered circuit. Each leg has four degrees of freedom, meaning it can move up, down, forward, and backward. This design allows for smooth, continuous walking without the need for a human operator or external controls. Researchers tested the robot for three straight days in a lab, where it was able to operate continuously as it had a steady air supply. Outside of the lab, the robot proved it could also walk on different terrains, like dirt, sand, and even underwater. It's a big step toward making robots that are self-sufficient in unpredictable environments. According to researchers, next steps will include finding ways to store compressed gas inside the robot itself in order to make it more independent. They're also exploring biodegradable and recyclable materials to reduce environmental impact. And beyond just walking, researchers are looking at adding manipulators like grippers, making this technology even more versatile. In the world of robotics, it can often feel like the focus is being put more on building bigger and more complex humanoids. But more and more researchers are starting to find cheaper alternatives that may actually demonstrate better adaptability while taking a less complex approach in design. Sure, we've seen some really impressive and even lifelike humanoid robots, but the smaller, simpler ones can be really interesting too, and oftentimes just as important, so don't count out the little guys. But let us know what you think in the comments. And for more on all things robots, head over to Mashable.com.